uh, with this, um, I'm going to uh, hand over to Nesrin uh, and Syria. Nesrin, when the Secretary General made this call, the situation in Northeast Syria was complex. You were running military operations on a daily basis, including against the Islamic State with the support of international coalition. There were threats of attacks by armed groups allied with Turkey, but you still decided to declare that you were ready for a ceasefire already the following day. How come? What were your um, uh, reasons? Thank you very much. We see uh, this call uh, absolutely uh, as a Syrian democratic forces. Uh, uh, we see a very uh, holy chance for peace. I believe all people all over the world are looking for sh chances for uh, to, to live in peace and stability. As, as the, the, the war is all over the world and uh, uh, as the pandemic is threatening all the world, so the world is in need of, of, uh, of global peace. Uh, as, as, as Syrian democratic forces, as people of Northeast uh, Syria, we have, uh, since uh, the beginning of our struggle, uh, we have uh, accepted and uh, struggled uh, based on the peace uh, principles. What was uh, clear that uh, it was clear that uh, peace is really in, uh, we need peace uh, in every uh, time. Uh, especially the peace is needed when, when, when the threat is uh, global or when all uh, people are under risk. Absolutely, uh, the pandemic, uh, COVID-19, uh, turned uh, the world to a new uh, crossroad. Because in the future and still uh, till now, uh, no real, uh, 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 the efforts is not resulted with the, a cure or medicine. Uh, so uh, it is also, if uh, uh, we are going to face more uh, difficult times in the future. It is, so uh, this, uh, this uh, conditions that the world is facing right now is a clear evidence of uh, the need of a new uh, way of management, uh, the, need, uh, the need for uh, everybody to really reconsider uh, uh, all the uh, ways, uh, lifestyle even. Uh, as a result, uh, uh, what we are, the world is facing is the failure of the system is running the world. Uh, this pandemic or this catastrophe is a result of the failure in the health uh, uh, systems uh, or on ecology uh, protection or ecology system. It's clear also that the ethics and science is uh, uh, also separated. For us, that's uh, that's why for us uh, it is uh, uh, this call is important to to really uh, combine uh, science and uh, ethics together uh, to, and uh, uh, live in this way. As a result, human, humanity is facing a, a pandemic, uh, uh, even though we, we, we still uh, uh, we have different uh, ideas if this is a, a human uh, made or it is uh, from uh, uh, God willing. But uh, anyway, as a result, we are facing a, a pandemic. 
As you all know that in Syria, Syria is a really very uh, uh, a conflict, and especially our areas, northeast Syria, we are we are fighting two battles. On one part, we are under threats of uh, terrorism, Daesh terrorism. On, on, on the other uh, hand, we are now living under an uh, occupation from the uh, Turkish side. Alicia Jadilis Gatum, Auji Regima Basa Kuhatanha, Tichara Seriera Gokarbe, Bitichara Serkinj. I would like to add even a third uh, uh, factor or th th third side that is the, the Syrian. Uh, uh, government, Syrian regime, who is not uh, uh, really ready for peace. I just wanted to link a question actually to, to, to that. Um, do you think that, talking about the Syrian government, uh, but also do you think that this can be, still provide uh, an opportunity to enhance collaboration uh, on humanitarian issues uh, with uh, the Syrian government, but also with other relevant political and armed actors in the region? Is, is there a humanitarian um, opening also in this, this complex setting? And unfortunately, till now, unfortunately, we did not receive any support, uh, even though uh, a lot of calls were made internationally and locally, but uh, till now, and also including uh, uh, this part, that we, are, we did not receive any uh, support and especially the support uh, to confront uh, the pandemic health. Okay. Uh, and uh, of course, as uh, the Syrian government, Al Baz party in Syria did not show any willing for uh, for any support and peace. So we are uh, we are almost confident that uh, there is, there will not I mean we are almost uh, uh, hopeless that there will be any uh, more uh, any chance for from the Syrian government side to really uh, bring peace. Okay. Uh, Uh, five million people are living in northeast Syria. Unfortunately, all those people are really under threat of COVID-19. Uh, all, all are Syrian uh, citizens. They, are, they did not come from outside. And uh, unfortunately, the Syrian government don't uh, give uh, access to the humanitarian actors, to the international community, to uh, to for, to uh, bring uh, the the humanitarian aid and support to 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 our areas. Uh, but uh, even though this is the, the situation, the, the, the self-administration of Northeast Syria uh, from their own part, they did their best to confront the pandemic. And the, till now, where uh, only two cases were confirmed, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, even these cases are uh, uh, being uh, treated now. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I think. Uh... That's very uh, important. And I think we're going to get back to the, the humanitarian response uh, after. Maybe we're going to continue uh, the discussion first on the ceasefire. But uh, thank you, Nesrin, for, for those valuable uh, elements. And we know it's, it's, it's a very, very complex situation.